everyone and welcome to CubeTube. Today we're going to do another episode about an element and today the element is lead. Let's talk about lead baby. So question you may have already seen in the um, in the title did kill uh, did lead kill the Roman Empire? Well we get to that later let's first open up this box. And what do we know about lead? Well, you know that it's a very heavy element, very dense. Let's uh, take a look at it, what we got here. So the letters are PB. That needs some investigation. It's 207.19 atomic mass units. And it has atom number 82. Now, what do we see here? We see a, um, yeah, <laughs> this could come straight from a roof and they just put it in acrylic cube. It's beautiful. Again, nice. Nice to have this element as well. Let's put it in there. Let's start it off. So, 82 protons and 82 electrons. Atomic mass, like I said, 20719 which would on the cube mean 207.2. It has stable isotopes of 204 PB, 206, 207, and 208 PB. Now, what that PB means, I come to later. Lead is the element with the highest number of protons that is still stable. So after lead, um, so basically all the elements bigger than 82, all elements are unstable. So for instance, bismuth, uranium still have very long half times um, that for humans, it can be considered a stable. However, they do decay. And this is something I also explained in the thorium video. So um, this thorium is, is falling in the unstable part, just like tennessine and organesson. And lead is basically the, uh, yeah, the, the, the late, uh, the, the last stable element in the periodic system. It's a solid. Uh, it has a melting point that is quite low, 328 degrees Celsius, and it's a post-transition metal. Now, in ancient times, people already used lead. We use lead for a very long time, and the Egyptians used lead to already around 3000 BC. Um, the name lead is very likely derived from the Celtic word loud, or Sanskrit loka. That means red. And the reason for that is that lead oxide, mainly, um, has a red-like color. Now, why PB? Well, PB, the letters that represent lead in the periodic system, mean plumbum. And that is the Latin word for lead. And you can still see this in words like plumbing and plumber in English. Now, lead is extremely toxic and poisonous and cannot be disposed by the body. Many applications of lead have therefore been discontinued. It used to be the case that plumbing, um, there is the name again, used to be done with lead pipes. And there is also a theory, which we'll dig into later, that the lead plumbing caused the Roman Empire to fall apart. But I'll dig into that later. So let's dig into some um, remarkable properties. Well, lead is a soft and bendable dark gray metal that uh, badly conducts. It's very corrosive resistant, so that's good. Even highly concentrated sulfuric acid, which can almost burn through anything, um, cannot damage lead. So yeah, very useful in that sense. By creating an alloy with antimon, uh, you can, it can also be made stronger. And that means by stronger, we mean less bendable. Now, when you make lead extremely cold, like, like say seven degrees Kelvin, which is minus 266 degrees Celsius, it becomes superconductive. Now, what is superconductivity? When you got current and it runs through a copper wire, uh, you will find that it will not run freely. Uh, and it has a resistance to prevent the electrons from, from flowing freely. Um, this is also, by the way, why it gets, why it gets warm, uh, right? Uh, the, the wire. 
Now, when a material is super conductive, there is no such resistance. The resistance will also cause, uh, like I said, the heat. But with super, conduct uh, super conductivity, there is no heat. Um, and this is why it's helpful when using big amounts of, uh, of current that, uh, uh, that can flow through, uh, through wire. And this is where it can be, it, it, for instance, used in, uh, in big electronic magnets. Um, some applications. Well, the most important application of lead is a battery, for instance, for your car. Um, so car batteries, basically. Um, these batteries turn lead and sulfuric, sulfur oxide into lead oxide. And the electrons that then become available can be used for current. Now, this process, and this is the cool part about it, this chemical process can be reversed. And this is why uh, you can charge a battery of this kind. So you first go one way, you create those loose electrons and you can lose it for electricity. And then you turn it the other way around. You separate the lead and the, and the, and the sulfur oxide again, and then you can use it again. Now, lead can also be used as a shield for radiation. And then this is the reason why the first responders at Chernobyl uh, were buried in coffins of lead. And the reason why lead is such a good shielding uh, against radiation is because of its high density. Now, because of its low melting point, it is very easy to use. It's a very easy to use metal. And because of this low melting point, uh, high density, and because it's uh, very corrosion resistant, it's being used a lot at construction sites. For, for instance, roofs, gutters, tank linings, and electrical conduct, conduits. In above cases, tin and lead alloys are, are often used. Hey, cool. We, we got them both now. That's, uh, that's really nice. Um, Mani is uh, a, a rust-resistant layer that is being put onto steel. And it was also put in paint in the past. But these days, because of the toxicity, it is banned uh, from, from most paints and most uses. Lead is also being used to date bones. Um, and we get to the Roman Empire in a bit. And we will see how we figured out what actually happened. Uh, how this works, I will maybe show in another video. The superconductive. Uh, lead can also be used for strong electromagnets, and uh, as I uh, as I told earlier. So then, what is left is the question of today: Was lead one of the causes of the fall of the Roman Empire? Well, historians believe this for a while, as well the lead plumbing in the Roman Empire may have caused the people to die much younger, and therefore have caused the downfall because well they weren't able to. Um, to maintain the demographics. Well, recent research, however, turned out uh, that this wasn't true. They debunked this theory. And how did they do this? Well, they carefully studied the bones um, where the lead is being stored. If you, uh, if you, if you, if you, um, if you take lead, or if you, uh, yeah, if you have lead intake uh, from the skeletons uh, from that time, and they did not show significant amount of lead that would have been needed to, um, to actually cause the downfall of the Roman Empire. So here you have it. Did lead cause the downfall, or did, was lead one of the causes of the downfall of the Roman Empire? Nope, it wasn't. So hope you enjoyed this episode again. Now, by all means, if you, if I missed any of the things that you could let also, that you could use uh, lead also for, leave it in the comments. Hit the like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this. For now, see you next week.